Okay, so first of all, I have data collected from a measurement site measuring nitric oxide in January 2015, and this measurement site is located on the side of a road. And I want to find out if Saturdays and Sundays have lower nitric oxide concentrations because there's less traffic on those days than during the week. So first of all, I need to put the date and the hour together. So I'm going to insert a new column and I'm going to call it date and time. Then I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to do equals date plus time. This is the hour and then for the minutes and the seconds, I'm just going to put zero. And then I'm going to press Control 1 to change the formatting on this. So I'm going to make it so I can see both the date and the time. Then I'm going to double click on that to fill in the rest of the table. And now I can highlight all of this and go to Insert and insert a scatter plot. Now, if I just move this chart to a new sheet so I can see it more clearly. And at the moment, I can't see what the days of the week are, so I need to change the axes labels. So I'm going to go to number, and then I'm going to make a new custom format. So I'm going to type in DDDD, -D -D -D, which will show me what the day of the week is, and then DD -D will show me what the date is. And I'm going to add that. And now you can see I've got the weekdays and the date. Now, if I change the major units to one, and then I will rotate the text so I can see it more clearly. And now I have the days of the week. So I can see that on Saturday, the concentrations were quite high, and then on Sunday, they were lower. And then for this weekend, on both Saturday and Sunday, they were quite low. But then for this Saturday, they were high, and this Sunday, they were low. Here, this Saturday and Sunday, they were quite low again. And then for this Saturday, they were about the same as the rest of the week. So now I want to find out what they were like on average for each day of the week. So if I go back to here and I go back up to the top and I insert and I call this weekday and then I'm going to type in equals text and then this and then in quotation marks, I'm going to type in DDDD. -D 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 and then close the quotation marks and the brackets. And now you can see I have what the day of the week was. Now, if I only typed in three Ds, I would get the day of the week, but just with the first three letters. And then two Ds would just give me what the date was. And now I have that. I can press Control A to highlight the whole of this table, and then go to Insert and Insert Pivot Table and OK. And now I can put the weekdays in the rows and the nitric oxide in the values. And I can change that to the average. And then I can highlight all of this and go to insert, and insert a bar chart. And then if I make this bigger, you can see that Saturdays and Sundays were the lowest days on average for nitric oxide concentrations. So this is a good example of a reason why you would want to find out what the days of the week were in Excel. Now I could also, if I go here and highlight these two, I can group them and then rename this week ends. And if I close this, it will change to just showing me the average for the weekends. I can also do this for the weekdays as well. If I group these and then rename this weekdays. And close that up as well. And now I only have two, one for the weekdays and one for the weekends. And you can see that the weekdays are much higher than the weekends. Now, if I go back to here, I will show you another way of doing this. So if I go insert and I just type in equals 
week day and then select this and then enter and I need to change the formatting on this so if I just change it to general for now you can see that I will end up with a number representing the weekdays. If I go here and type in a comma, you can see that the default is to have the numbers be 1 for Sunday all the way through to 7 for Saturday. And that's what happens if you don't type in anything and also if you type in a 1. If I highlight this now and press Control 1 and then do custom formatting and I will type in DD DD again and now you can see that it's showing me the day of the week again. However, you have to be careful when you do this because if I type in formula again and select this and then this time say if I wanted the numbers to be 0 for Monday it would now give me an incorrect day because the custom formatting doesn't realize that you've changed the formula. So you have to be careful not to do that. And then I'm just going to show you one last way of finding the day of the week. So say if I wanted to find out what day of the week it was on the day I was born, I could type in the 1st of April 1990 and then select this and press Control 1 and then go to custom formatting and type in here DD DD and you can already see that I was born on a Sunday. Okay and then that is it.